Now let's open the attribute table and see how we can select from the attribute. So here we have our attribute for this street. If I click anywhere here, it's going to select the line for me. And I can select multiple if I want. And also I have an option here that can say switch selection. So what this one's going to do is going to unselect the selected and select the unselected. Just switch them as you see here. At some point you might say right now like well, what would I need this for? Trust me when you really have a lot of data all of these options you're gonna really have it handy to make you achieve what you want fast and quick. So I can also say zoom to selected so it's gonna zoom to the selected ones. I can say, say clear selection. And here we have a lot of options for the attributes. Uh, we discussed before how to add a field and here you can select by attribute, you can switch selection, so many things that already exist and uh, out of here when you cl right click here it already exists here as well and some of these options we already used before so we are not going to go through each one of them and select by attribute we're going to come to it in a second and here you can say select all the records or show the selected ones so for example if I have if I selected like some of the streets I can say only show me the selected features by here or show me everything and as you see there's a, a on the bottom here there's a tab say streets because I have the streets selected but if I come here I can select intersections so I'm gonna have another tab for the intersections so I can switch between them and have easy access that's like the attribute table in a quick way if you write on a column you can right click you can sort them, you can have advanced sorting, you can field calculation, you can calculate the field based on a certain uh, information. For example, I can come here and say for the names, I want the field calculation to be the, sh the object ID. I'll say OK. I'm going to calculate, I'm going to take the object ID and put it in the street column, as you see here. So we can use the field calculation to set up the data here for however you want. The other thing is geometry, calculate geometry, and we use this in the editing lesson. And you can just turn off and turn on the field or freeze it. And freeze the field is if you have a lot of data and you want this field to be in front of you, like an Excel sheet, you can freeze it from here. You can delete the field or you can change the properties of the field by changing the name, the alias, and the type of the field. That's for the attribute table. The second thing we will look at is a selection. As you see here right now, we have some uh, features that is selected. So I'm going to clear the selection. And when I do the selection again, if I do selection like this, it's going to select everything for me. But actually, what I want right now is to just select the streets. So I can come to the streets, right click on it and come to the selection option and say make this the only selectable layer and when I do this when I do the selection again the same way it's gonna only select the lines so I don't get a conflict of selection between the lines and the polygons and the way to disable this option is to go back to list by visibility and say I want this to be selectable as well and this selectable as well now if I select them again they're going to be all selected. Let's clear selection. And you can select by rectangle, you can select by polygon, like this. You can select by lasso, like this. So you have so many options to do your selection, or by line. So anything you're going to intersect with this line is going to be selected. Like here, for example, if I if I draw a line from here to here, you can guess which feature is going to be selected. Okay, exactly. It's this line, this polygon, and this line. I'm going to clear selection, return it back as the way it was. And now let's go to selection. There's so many different ways to select features. 
So this is selection by just like select on the map. And here we have select by attribute and select by location. We're going to open the select by attribute and say, I want to select from the streets any street that have street name not null. So let's see which uh, what is the options we have in the street name, what values we have. We can click get unique values. It's going to tell me that you have street one, two, three, and null. So I'm going to say, OK, select all the features that is not, and I just click here, as you see, null. And I say apply. So it's selected for me. That means that this might be street one, this might be street two, and this might be street three. If I make the opposite and say, remove this and say equal null, or I'm sorry, is null, apply, is going to like select the opposite. And this, this is a really easy way to uh, have a certain selection. So you need to know that, OK, now this lines is the one that have null street name. And I can select it and add the street name to it. And that's called uh, select by attribute. Let's close this one. At the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what Esri do. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.